Good evening and welcome to Progress Diary. This is where you get the latest news and updates about Nigeria's governing party, the All Progressives Congress. I am Abida Lawal. The All Progressives Congress is wielding the big stick against the chief whip of the 10th Senate, Senator Mohamed Ali Ndume, over his recent outburst and criticism of the party's leadership and the president. In a statement issued in Abuja by the National Publicity Secretary of APC, Felix Moka, he said the latest outburst in the media by the senator claiming that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has been caged and unaware of existential challenges in the country is as haughty as it is unnecessary. According to APC, as a senator of the Federal Republic, Mr. Ndume has platform of the National Assembly to raise and address matters that he may consider to be in the national interest. He also has access to the entire machinery of the federal government of Nigeria. Senator Ndume did not explain the use to which he has put these enormous assets in seeking solutions to concerns that he may have. His Excellency, the Senate President, Dr. Goswil Oburak Pabio, President of the Senate, complained against the unbecoming utterances of Senator Ahmed Ali Ndume. I'm writing on behalf of the National Working Committee of our great party to express our displeasure, our outrage, and our deep disappointment at the unbecoming, unfounded, and baseless criticism of the government and the party, the APC, by your majority whip of the Senate, Senator Ali Muhammadu Ndume as a member of the ruling party we expected a much more responsible and decorous behavior from him but this has not been the case he is on coot and rabid outburst against the government's before the international community and before the global community is not only harmful to the government's image alone, but also undermines the party's unity and cohesion, and in addition, undermines the government's effort to bring in foreign direct investment to Nigeria. As he's a ranking member of our party, his actions are unbecoming of a senior member of the Senate and sets a very poor example for others in future to follow. His latest tirade, where he referred to the government of Bola Ahmed Tunibu, President, Commander in Chief, as being run by thieves portrays Ali Ndume as a person who is bent on running the country down and running the party aground through incitement and cheap propaganda. We have reviewed that Senator Ali Ndume should honorably resign his membership of the APC and join any opposition party of his choice formally, instead of hiding behind the veil of grass activity to decimate the hard-earned cohesion and goodwill that our party, the APC, is enjoying within and outside the country. His utterances which are sheer propaganda and not based on verifiable facts. 
uh, 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 unbecoming of a member of the APC caucus in the Senate of the National Assembly. And it therefore behoves on the APC caucus to bring this to the attention of its members for necessary action to curtail his deliberate mission to undermine the government and the party and the progress of Nigeria. And particularly, particularly those appointed by Mr. President to work in his administration. We therefore urge the Senate caucus to take appropriate steps to address this issue and ensure that members of the Senate, particularly those within the All Progressive Congress, hold and maintain decorum in their public utterances accordingly. We realize that the position of the whip of the Senate belongs to our party. And we are not opposed to whatever position the members of the APC caucus in the Senate may have, that we are of the opinion that distinguished Senator Mohammed Tahe Mongunu should immediately replace distinguished Senator Alain Dume, who is bent on bringing down the country as the majority whip of the Senate signed by Dr. Abdullahi Omaganduje, CON, National Chairman, and Senator Surajuddin Ajibola Bashiru, PhD, BL, Bachelor's at Law, National Secretary. Now the All Progressives Congress is consolidating its wide acceptance and dominance across the country as the Abdullah Ganduje led National Working Committee received a new entrant from the Southeast into the party. Former President of the Senate, Ayim Pius Ayim, dumped the opposition People's Democratic Party and pitched its tent with the Progressives. Pius Ayim Pius defected to the APC in an elaborate occasion held at the Pa Ngele Oruta Township Stadium, Abakaliki, the capital of Eboin State. A statement signed by the Chief Press Secretary to the National Chairman of APC, Edwin Olofu, confirmed that Dr. Abdullah Ganduje will receive the former Senate President alongside other decampees, expressed delight over the development. He described the coming of Ayim Pius to the APC as a huge blessing to the party owing to his wealth of experience. I am honored to present to you the resolutions of the good people of Ebony State in the occasion of the formal declaration of defection of Ebony people to APC today, the 13th day of July 2024. Mr. Chairman, my name is Sileto Ali Mbarasa, former president of the Nigerian Senate and secretary to government of the Federation. I have the mandate of the, body, of the good people of the body state to present to the national chairman and members of the National Working Committee of All Progressive Congress our political resolutions as follows. Number one. In appreciation of the great work our dear governor, right honorable 
Francis Sobodo, I went for his dream and I was there. As Anambra State prepares for the 2025 off-cycle governorship election, the national chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Abdullah Ganduje, has challenged all party stakeholders to unite and work in unison to ensure victory for the party. He also encouraged the politicians from the state to harness their potentials and strategic position both in the southeast and in Nigeria by joining the ruling party. Dr. Abdullah Gandu just said this during the inaugural meeting of a number of state APC stakeholders organized by the state chapter of the party in Abuja. The APC chairman said the meeting is part of the strategy by the state APC to reorganize and unite the party members ahead of the 2025 election. According to him, the election is crucial to the party and the government at the center as Anambra State deserves to be at the mainstream of Nigeria's politics. Dr. Abdullah Gandude insists that APC would not continue to allow Anambra State to remain on the sidelines of Nigerian politics and pointed out the need for all to work in unison for the actualization of this mission. I thank Anambra State. I thank APC. I came into APC. I came with clean hearts. I came to work. I got involved in politics just to work. That's all. So I, I must know everything. I should, but I don't know everything. Since I came on board, you can see I'm fighting a lot of wars. I am so happy Nabumoni. I'm glad I'm from Igbo land. I am very, very glad I'm from Nigeria. But I'm assuring you people again, I shall never let you people down. I will do all I could to uphold the dignity of Nigerians. I believe that outside of one or two other states, Anambra will be the state that you have come to to join the stakeholder meeting of the party to reassure us, to give us the courage that the party at the center is committed to ensuring that our party occupy what we call the government house, Agoka, come next year. And on their behalf, our national chairman, I want to further assure you that our party your party in Anambra State is more than united than ever before. This is the first time in the history of our party politics that we do not have faction. The Chief Iduru faction, a GDK faction, Ifan Yuba faction, Portugal faction. Over those factions, any faction at all. We have one united, indivisible, indivo indissoluble party under the leadership of our chairman, Chief Basil Ejilike. We have tested failure. We know what it means not to be in government house. And that is why we keep clamoring, craving for intervention of the center, to come to the center to see what we can see from the center. We believe if we win Agoka, many things will be available to our party men. So we are resolved, we are resolute, we are determined and firm in our conviction that next year 
we would do what is required of us to take Agoka. I also believe that the strategic nature of Anambra in the southeast and by extension Nigeria makes it expedient for the state to join the center. Therefore, I'm convinced that these men and the women attending this meeting have the capacity and the ability and tenacity to deliver APC in the coming election. Amen. Let me also emphasize the importance of unity as the most important tool for the sustainment of such stakeholders. You can only succeed if the critical stakeholders like you and others together in unity, just like the party's law, the whole a united body can never be defeated. Your strengths and success are inherent in your unity. Therefore, I encourage you to be united to achieve the desired goal. I extend the party hands of fellowship and support all stakeholders in Anambra. I assure you of the national headquarters support towards the party in Anambra in the 2025 election. That election is crucial to the party and the government of the center because Anambra deserves to be is the mainstream of Nigerian politics. We cannot continue to allow Anambara to remain on the sidelines of Nigerian politics. Hence the need for all to work in unison for the actualization of this mission. Your commitment and sincerity of purpose will naturally attract these supports which will act as a strong motivation towards this eminent success. So get it to work. And it is. I can say that to win the gubernatorial election in Amara State is a task that must be done. Yeah. I enjoy this council to support the party by ensuring the creation and hosting of regular activities in the state. I'm happy that I have gone through the line of activities you have drawn for yourself. I believe if you follow what you have written to the latter, then I think you are ready for business. I beckon on all to come in and come out strong and support the repositioning of this party for the overall interest of members and the betterment of the people of Anambara State. You see, the whole essence of us to consider Anambara a very serious issue. We made several attempts before. We even went to the extent of trying to convince a serving governor under Abga. Personally, I was involved as a governor of Kano State at that time and also the chairman of reconciliation committee in charge of Southeast geopolitical zone. I met the former governor. In fact, Mr. President, at that time, President Buhari also made attempts so that the serving governor would cross over to APC, which could have made things easy. 
there was a promise. That promise was not honored. Even this time around, they also made an overture. But that one too, from the look of things, has, has failed. The only alternative we have is our own homegrown politicians in Anambra State. If we are talking of Mr. President, we look and see where can we get votes to make our party produce Mr. President. From the way it is, can we risk Southeast geopolitical zone? The answer is big no. If we are looking for Vice President, we have to look where can we get votes that will assist us to win, because we have to win even before we get the position. The same thing with other important positions. We are looking for this and that. So ladies and gentlemen, on our part, we are very serious. And we want to give you every support. And we assure you, once we are able to liberate you, politically, for NPC, we assure you, what happened in Second Republic will also happen to the Southeast geopolitical zone. And that is all we have for you this week on Progress Diary. I will return again next week to tell you more about the giant strides of the All Progressives Congress under the leadership of Dr. Abdullah Umar Ganduje. I am Abida Lawal. See you next week.